Hello, and welcome back to Outskirts. Now, the last episode was incredibly chaotic, and I was hoping that maybe we could be a little more chill this episode. So, I have some plans. Firstly, I want to build, and I've actually been doing a bit of off-camera mining, and just resource collecting in general, since we last uh, logged on here. And with all of these newfound resources, I'm thinking that we finally get to work on the potion shop that we've been so desperately wanting to build. Now, I'm not quite sure uh, where I'm going to build this, believe it or not, because uh, our neighbors over here have actually been uh, doing a bit of mm, regional development, let's just say. Uh, yeah, they're... They've kind of, like, built everywhere. Uh, there's not many places to uh, that I was eyeing up that are now uh, land that is open for development. I mean, look at this. They span across, like, the majority of the forest. Katri, you're, you're insane. But yeah, looks like somebody has beaten me to some actually half-decent infrastructure. So, that means... I am going to need to scout out a new area to build my potion shop because initially I actually wanted to build it here. It was a relatively flat area, kind of close to the middle of the map, and I thought it was just a very neat spot, but um, obviously so did Katri. Um, why do I hear a zombie? Oh, there is definitely a zombie villager down there, but that's not my problem. So one thing that I definitely want for my house is for it to be somewhere in the woods because I feel it's more so like a witchy type project. So I thought it would be fun to build in the woods. So like somewhere like this big old mountain here is a no-go. Just the entirety of the snow side over here is a no-go. And uh, yeah, everywhere where Kadri and Vortex have built is also a no-go. So we are in a bit of a pickle here. <laughs> but... Without a further ado, I say, uh, let's get house hunting. I'll get back to you when I find somewhere that I think may be decent. Now, would you look at that? A friend Vortex seems to have crafted a bed on the far side. I no longer need to go to Ash's place. And just perfect in time for me to, you know, have, have a bit of a nap. Have a little bit of a rest. Ooh, ooh. What is this? Okay, so, um, while I did do some off-camera mining, I am not entirely sure if what I have will cut it. So, you know, worst, worst comes to worst, we can just, uh, borrow. Yeah, let's just say borrow some of Vortex stuff. I'm kind of like in here. It's, um, a pretty flat area, so, you know, there isn't too much trouble. And it's pretty close to the snow area, too, so I'll be able to kind of move my goods between here and the uh, snow area pretty easily. Yeah, I, I think I may build here, actually. This seems really nice, but first, we're going to need to clear it out. So how about a little time lapse? So time lapses aren't exactly something that I've done before. And I just kind of wanted an excuse to do one, admittedly. I'm gonna have probably a much more grander time lapse of the actual build later in the episode, but for now I just wanted to dip my toes in with something a little more simple, so I figured I would flatten out an area because this server is actually incredibly mountainous. There's not much flat ground to work with, so I needed to terraform just a little bit, and there was so much dirt. But I'm really glad I did this because the land that I've chosen seems to have turned out absolutely wonderfully. Also, funnily enough here, I get attacked by a spider and then a creeper. Whew, that was a little bit of work, especially for somebody with only unenchanted iron tools. I went through like four shovels in that time lapse. I didn't even know you could go through that many shovels. Anyways, uh, while I was doing that, I was kind of thinking, I don't know what direction I'm going to have this facing. I was thinking this way because it's uh, facing the Forest Kingdom and 
you know, a good bit of my trade's gonna be uh, from there, but then, like, my back will be completely turned to the Snow Kingdom. If I have it facing this way, as you're coming in from spawn, you'll be able to see it, but people, like, coming back from the f uh, Forest Kingdom may, like, encounter the back, and the back of the build is obviously always going to be less impressive than the front, so we basically want to optimize this so that the majority of the people walking by will be able to see the front. I'm thinking this direction is a pretty solid bet, considering that um, we have like this little area here, and that just seems like an appropriate area to have like the back of the build. And, you know, we could like do a little like llama barn uh, around like the lower areas of this cliffside. I, I think it'll be fun, but either way, um, there were some server issues, so that took, um, unfortunately, a lot longer than expected, so I'm going to log out for the night and come back to this another day and get the actual build done. Okay, so I know I said I was going to head out for the night, but I went into the nether portal by the area I cleared out. I didn't make that, by the way, and... Yeah, I was just talking to Vortex there, and uh, he gave us some leads because I don't have any spare. I lost all my spare leads. Now, where did this little, little devil go? Oh, I hear you. Okay, ow, 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 ow. Hmm, hmm. This is bad, actually. Oh, oh no. Well then, that wasn't quite according to plan. Come here, sheepy. Oh, Vortex is gonna love you. We're gonna gift him to Vortex, by the way, is what I've decided. Ooh. Okay, there we go. He's in. There he is. Ah, oh, and there's a wandering trader for us. Ah, oh, this is... This couldn't get any better. Oh, boy. Vortex, you will not believe what I found in the nether. Uh, uh, no, no, no. Don't worry. Don't worry. I know that sounds con concerning, but like th the little fella, they, they accidentally wandered in and it happens that they are incredibly uh, endangered on this server. They're a bit of an endangered species, one might say. And I think you would be the perfect caretaker for such a... <sighs> oh, okay. I'm very confused. Don't, don't worry, don't worry. It will all make sense in due time. I'm almost at your house. And then we can tame up these llamas, get some new leads, and uh, you can see your gift. So if you would come outside, I'd like to introduce it to the little fella. Oh! oh! I needed you! Yeah. I'm making a project. Holy shit. Okay. Yeah, uh so this is kind of really big. Uh... For those who don't know, uh, there are no sheep on this server. This Absolutely is... none. Yeah. So we gotta, like, do a bit of an underground breeding operation for this fella, I think, would be the best option. So, welcome back, everybody. It is now the next day, and I was doing a bit of preparation work off-camera, and I know this, this probably all looks um, incredibly manic, and any actual builders watching this are probably screaming, uh, wondering what the heck I'm doing here. But let me tell you, it will all make sense in due time. But firstly, we got to get rid of this nether portal. But I don't exactly want to waste all this obsidian. So I'm going to head back to Ash's place for the ender chest. Wait. Oh my goodness. There's another sheepy here. Oh, wow. Okay, so... We could actually start breeding the this and the other sheep that I found and gave to Vortex last night. Oh, wow. That's just fantastic. I will get you on the way back. Oh. Oh, boy. This place has been completely pillaged. What happened to all the crops? Oh, there's, there's like no water left either. Is this carts? Oh, it is carrots. I actually need some of that. Um, but, oh my goodness. That's just terrible. Looks like Ash has gone some chickens. 
Oh no, on the inside. Did, did Ash like potentially like move? Did he just like move shop entirely? How about like his store? Surely there's still stuff inside here, right? Okay, yeah, he's selling, still selling his bits. And boop, let's get the carrot into here. And let's get the diamond pick. Uh, we gotta be very, very careful. Um, and chances are I'm gonna break that um, ender chest when we're done here because uh, I want to have not a monopoly. I just want people to go to my potion shop whenever they need to use the ender chest. I think it's a good way to get like people going there. Plus, I made that ender chest and Ash kind of uh, murdered me in cold blood the other day. So I, th I think there's very much hard feelings. Come on. Okay. Okay. So far, so good. So far, so good. What the... Hmm. That was a bit high for... Okay. Um, I don't trust leads, honestly. But we're on some flat grass, so... Now we can just run about. Alright. Second sheepy secured. And we are just going to tie him up by our crafting table. Have fun watching him spin around during the montage. But yeah, with all that being said, I think it's finally building time. So, I'll see you on the flip side. Now, one thing that has been really intimidating for me ever since I started playing more Minecraft has been building. I don't know, just something about it gives me really cold feet and I just have a really hard time digging into a build project. It's why I feel like doing recorded Let's Play series will help with that because I don't exactly need to commentate and it allows me to not get trailed off with some weird side tangent and just let me double down and dig into the building. For this project, I went with a cottage vibe and it's very much out of my comfort zone. I tend to build much more industrial looking buildings, so I thought doing something a little more wood and stone would just be like very different and a nice change of pace. Uh, as you can see at the back here, I'm now working on a little tower. I wanted to just kind of like give the cottage a little unique thing at the back because, uh, you know, building's all about shape and form and what says shape and form than just having a completely different style of building jutting out. I also think this will be rather practical in the server just as a little watchtower. And I may even just have a little barrel with some spy glasses. Um, I also accidentally misaligned the building here, so I needed to like push it back a little bit. Um, as you can see, I'm now decorating. I did lose some footage here uh, of me decorating the front, sadly. But uh, yeah, here's just me finishing off the interior of the build. I, I didn't finish off the interior entirely. I just kind of textured the tower and uh, did the flooring. I still need to put in a lot of furniture. I have a lot of furniture planned for this build. But yeah, if you are a builder and there's anything that's screaming at you, just let me know in the comments below. Baby's first time lapse. Holy moly, that was fun. I actually enjoyed that quite a lot. Um, <laughs> anyways, uh, I actually did the interior kind of. It's a work in progress. I still need some item frames there, some here, some here. I need to make all of these oak blocks, uh, bookshelves, which takes a while because uh, leather doesn't come easy. It, it just really doesn't. The general idea here is that um, this is going to be a shop, um, as you're more than aware. Um, in here, I'm gonna probably sell some enchanted bucks. Uh, just some potions, probably some less popular ones in this corner. Um, some drinkable potions here, some splash potions here. We will chuck an enchanting table down here. And uh, yeah, we'll throw some of the brewing ingredients in here as long as it's not like super rare. Just stuff people won't want to steal. And um, of course, the nether wart will always stay in uh, the little ender chest here, which definitely wasn't stolen. Kind of. I mean, I technically made... It's complicated. Uh, so yeah, if we uh, go up 
Into here, there is a little messy storage room. Yeah, let's uh, just show you the top of the tower. It's um, pretty nice. Uh, yeah, um, so I have this whole spiky pillar motif thing going around it. I don't know, it just kind of makes it look more magic-y. I don't, I don't know the word for it, but it, it makes it look fancy. And then in here, we have some spy glasses. So we can scout out the area, give the area a big... Oh! I didn't see that. Uh, we're going to need to investigate that. I, <laughs> I genuinely didn't notice that. I am so incredibly proud of this entire getup. Um, it took a lot of work, a lot of elbow grease, but, you know, I just dug straight in and I got it all done. Let's check out this place here. I'm not entirely sure who lives here or if anyone lives here. Oh, this is awfully sad. Ooh, a cake. Don't mind if I do. Uh, <laughs> oh. Ooh, wait. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> My bad. Oh, goodness. My bad. <laughs> oh, I totally just ate a Daytra or Garfield's cake. Ooh, so this is a bit embarrassing, but I forgot to unmute the Minecraft audio, so apologies for how deadly silent those last two clips were. Maybe I'll throw some music in there to just liven this up. Now, as you can see, we've done a little bit of extra work. There's been some progress on the bookshelf here. I've gotten all the item frames up, but uh, unfortunately no items in them just yet. But... Uh, more importantly, I I have some new friends I need to introduce you guys to. So uh, first we have uh, Patches. I, I just came up with that name now, but your name's Patches now. Uh, he is one of the very few bunnies that are wandering around the server. Um, they actually spawn in naturally in the two biomes that the border surrounds. So that's very convenient for me as um, somebody who wants to brew potions because they drop rabbit feet, which um, allow me to make uh, potions of leaping, which is absolutely fantastic. And then if you come into my bedroom here, you can see that we have two little kitty cats here. Now, um, you may be wondering why I have them outside of just, you know, the sake of having them because look at them, they're adorable. But uh, no, so when you sleep in a bed at night, um, cats actually sleep with you and they have a very, very low chance. I'm talking one in 36, I think, to drop phantom membrane, which is just absolutely huge for us because uh, phantoms are disabled on the server. So that is the only way to get them meaning that we can get one of the most valuable uh, resources for brewing and we can brew some potions of slow falling. Now, they aren't the most useful thing in the world, but you can definitely sell them to people who don't have like feather falling for or something. Either way, we can definitely sell those for a diamond a pop just due to their absolute rarity. So um, there was a serious problem here. We actually need a second rabbit and I've been just kind of aimlessly wandering around the server. I kind of finally have a feel of like what's inside this border um, on both the snow and the far side. Less so the far side because I'm pretty sure they're more likely to spawn in the snow biome. All the rabbits I found at least spawn in the uh, snow biome. But I have found a rabbit. However, there, there's a bit of a problem. So we're here at the border now, and if we turn on our hitboxes, we may be able to see him. There it is. There's a rabbit over there. Um, this is going to be quite the mission. I have some potions of healing with me ready. Um, and basically, we're going to make our way out of the border here and just get like a feel for it. Just see roughly how far we can travel before we start dying. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Um, hmm. So it's pretty clear to me here that, uh, 
we may not be able to get over there as easily as I thought. And um, potentially with a potion of regeneration, it may make... Oh, fuck, there's so many of them over there. I just... I just need to get over there. I know the border, like, moves on the server, but, like, th th this literally can't wait. I... I need to get rabbits now because there are so many, like, hunting mobs. By the way, the reason why you never see rabbits in the wild in Minecraft is because so many mobs just kill them. Including the mobs on the server. There's, like, a bunch of stray cats around. And there's a few, like, foxes as well. And I, I guarantee you that they've just killed all the rabbits on us. Just every last one. So, bogus bunny shenanigans aside, I've actually been working very, very hard off camera to get the shop ready for people since there's a bunch of people from the server about to log on. We're at least getting three others popping on. And, you know, I want to make some sales. So we've gotten uh, some stock in, as you can see. Um, we got just a variety of potions, not much, it, only four, uh, but I will take commission by the till here. And I'll probably be brewing up some potions uh, while I'm waiting between customers. But I also have another money-making scheme. So I'm sure you guys remember Sheepy from earlier on in the episode. This isn't the same Sheepy. I snuck the second one I found into the same hiding place that Vortex uh, has the sheep that I gifted him earlier in the episode. And I bred them up and this is their offspring. But you know what? I'm going to pretend that this is the only sheep on the server and sell it for an extremely high price. And I could do it to multiple people even. Who knows? And also, so I finally finished the bookshelf here. It was... Uh, very painful, and we can actually finally make a little enchanting table for it. Bam! And I am pretty sure, yes! Okay, we we have the level 30 enchants with this bookshelf. You guys have no idea how difficult it is to design a bookshelf that is both pretty and usable with an enchanting table. Holy moly, the amount of revisions this one corner went through when I was building this in my creative world is frankly absurd. So between the cuts there, I made strength potions and let's just say we're selling them for a pretty penny. And yeah, Queenie has logged on and I am going to try my best to pitch her some sales. Try get her to purchase some potions. Uh, but first we just gotta look out for her in our little wizard's tower. Don't mind me, looking for some customers. <gasps> there she is! Hey, hey! Ah, oh, there's a lovable customer. Hey! Holy moly, welcome to Elixir's Elixir, my little potion shop that I got going here. Wow, this is so snazzy. I like the llamas, they add a nice touch. Would you... Uh, yeah, no, I've uh, just been breeding them up. I'm preparing to take some of my um, sales on the road, as one might say. But uh, yeah, cool. home of the only ender chest on the server. So if you ever need to use the ender chest, you know, just make your way over to here. I'm, I'm creating a collection, so I'm going to store my collection in there. Yeah, well, feel free to use it. It's completely free of charge. And we have you, quite a wide array of uh, wonderful products on sale. We, we don't exactly have our entire stock right now. Uh, we, That's right. we mostly take gold um, for the most part. Um, Wait, who's we? Is it the royal we, like you the, and yourself? The, or is the it royal we. Like it is the royal <laughs> we. I don't have <laughs> I a business see. associate. I uh, merely am just a humble brewer on <laughs> these fine fats. <laughs> um, everywhere behind here is my living Brady. quarters. This is my oh, um, scouting tower, so I can <gasps> scout out uh, some business um, opportunities. You can jump on your roof. You, you can jump on my roof, ha not, however, however I... get back. Yeah. Um, Oops, cute. <laughs> Ooh, you have sheep. Yeah, actually, this sheep is um, pretty special. Uh, one of a kind. Uh, only one in the entire border. And you know what? Wow. It's going It's going for sale. 
and up. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I'm out of breath. I'm out of bed. Uh, it's just gone. here. It dropped three wall dice. What did you just take? Nothing. Queenie. Nothing. Okay, so if I took something, I would be running away, and I am casually strolling at a decent pace that is faster than walking. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm mhm. Yeah, it's really good. Queenie, I'm Let's going to go. ask nicely one more time. Please give me back my stuff. Oh, there is no resources on this server. Uh -huh. uh, if you stole iron, I think there was iron in there. Uh, Forget it, you scared me! Elixir, that was horrifying! You were just there! Yeah? You were just there! Oh my goodness! Don't look behind okay. you. Ooh. Elixir? Don't look Elixir, behind you. You were very scary. Don't please. look behind you. Wait, 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 okay. wait, Okay, so, here, here, um, you can have it back. You can have it back. There, there you go. All right. Um, thank you so much. Um, anyways, yeah, if, um, you're curious in purchasing, um, mm -hmm. that one-of-a-kind sheep, that lovely That's sheepy sheep. that we have, um, out back, um, you know, it, it's usually going for one diamond, but just for you, you know, it can be an iron block, you know? So, um, either way, either way, I'll be- Do I look like the type of- Do I look like the type of person to have any iron whatsoever? That's fair, actually. You look incredibly poor. Uh, just so very poor, actually. Oh, wow. Dang, your shoe's raggedy. Elixir, I suck at PvP! No, no, no. <laughs> I want, I want the pack! I want the iron pack! Please, Elixir! <laughs> I am poor! I am poor beyond belief! You know, you I know, I- I spare something! Please! I, what do you have on you? We could make, like, a trade. Mud. Dirt. Dirt. Um, yeah. how much dirt are we talking here? 23. 23. Mm-hmm. You know what? Seems like a really For good 23 deal. dirt, I will give you five iron to make yourself okay. a helmet. Thank, Thank you. you, Elixir. You are such a good friend. I promise I will not hurt you ever again. Mm -hmm. Before now. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. that's incredibly scary, Queenie. I'm sure that's really reassuring. Yeah. Either way, Elixir's Elixir. Come back anytime. Bye. Okay. So that could have gone a lot better. We didn't make a single sale. In fact, we made a monumental loss for, um, she didn't actually take our iron in the end. It was some steak that I had cooking in this furnace. And yeah, so I suppose we made a very small iron profit, but uh, that's not exactly what I'm looking for, at least in that amount of quantity. Uh, because I want an anvil for here, but anvils are very expensive. But, um, anyways, yeah, so I was just counting up the llamas, and I realized that, um, some of them are missing. So, not only did we not make a single sale, uh, we got our stake robbed, and now I need to retrieve my llamas. This, this couldn't have gone any worse for Elixir. Now, I do feel a little bad for Queenie because obviously she's taking my llama hoping she could get some llamas of her own, but I'm not even sure that's a plausible thing. So what we're going to do here is give her this one baby llama that I got from uh, my herd, and I'm going to breed these two llamas as well and then leave her the babies. So the plan is we give these to Queenie and she may be a little bit tempted to, you know, actually buy something from our shop when she gets a little more iron or gold sorry it's gold that i want and diamonds in rare situations but mostly gold just hopefully she'll spend in our shop when she has the resources to but in the meantime we can just go like this both being generous out of the kindness of our heart and marketing I am truly a business entrepreneur. But anyways, these llamas back here are pretty important because this is actually my deal llama. This is where I am probably gonna have like potions, one iron, a pop, 
you know, that's um, obviously a lot easier to come by than gold. And then um, I had like some food in here just because um, he decided to follow along. I was looking for Queenie earlier with um, the Llama Caravan. Unfortunately, I couldn't find her. Uh, so yeah, we're just gonna uh, take these little fun guys back to the home base and we'll end the episode. So we did quite a lot in this episode. It was really exciting. It was the first time I ever did like time-lapsed content, which is just really, really interesting. And I enjoyed it so much. Uh, definitely expect more of those in the future. And yeah, this entire build is something I'm incredibly proud of. Uh, we got our first remnants of um, a stock going and we had our very first kind of cust potential customer. Yeah, let's just, huh. In the next episode, I plan to make my very first sale. Yes, very exciting, I know, I know. And I also think it would be fun to go around with the deal llama caravan and maybe make some easy iron that way with some of the reject potions. But outside of that, I also want to increase uh, traffic to the shop when I'm offline. So I want to install some paths around uh, to the potion shop. And then I also have a super secret plan to get people to come to the shop. Some of you may know what I'm thinking of, others may not. And it is incredibly stupid and irresponsible. If you have any idea what I'm talking about, let me know in the comments below. But with all that being said, I will catch you guys in the next episode. Bye!